Good afternoon and welcome to NCTV 45 and our newsroom with this news brief as um, we have a ton of stuff to get to. So uh, let's try and knock it out of here with this. Uh, as you know, there was a train derailment in uh, East Palestine. And with that, it was a Nor Norfolk Southern Railway. Well, after, uh, from this morning, the temperature has risen and uh, which sent police officers knocking on doors Sunday night telling people to leave uh, their neighborhoods. This was Ohio Governor uh, DeWine asking that or, or advising that to happen. Since then, with the temperature and, uh, as they said, with no good options, they decided to do a controlled release of the poly uh, chloride. And I want to make sure that um, I'm describing this and explaining it to you really uh, the way it is. Uh, the Ohio National Guard blocked streets leading into East Palestine on Monday morning and began enforcing what they had pre previously been strongly recommending is for people within a one mile, 1.6 mile kilometer radius of the crash site to leave. Many schools and businesses were closed and local high schools turned into a shelter. Now with that on our Facebook page, we have put information out about Blackhawk High School. So, and it copied once again, right off of their website. They have since decided to do this controlled release as uh, we were talking about. And I believe the controlled release of this toxic stuff, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine says the controlled release of vinyl chloride will take place at 3.30. That's uh, approximately 56 minutes from now. Here's what was stated just a little bit ago. First of all, Darlington Ch Township residents, okay, started uh, being ordered out. Uh, Beaver County commissioners have ordered about 20 households in Darlington Township, uh, those people to leave out of their homes. People are living where there is uh, danger and they are in the immediate evacuation zone, officials said. Uh, they went on to say they face grave danger if they stay while Nor Norfolk Southern officials perform this controlled release from unstable train cars. Now, it's our understanding that, uh, and they're showing pictures of it right now on Fox, and those pictures coming from Channel 2, KDKA. Law enforcement uh, was going door to door in the township, making sure residents are out, including those ones in East Palestine Road and Taggart Road, uh, Commissioner said. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro is working with Ohio Governor Mike DeWine uh, 
on the ongoing situation. Shapiro thanked first responders and law enforcement for their important work. Uh, this going on right now. And um, anyone having any questions, Beaver County Emergency Services are directing residents with questions to call 330-457-0733. I will put that up for you as um, we uh, get through this uh, news brief. Now, as you look at this area, uh, it becomes very evident that Route 168 definitely involved. There's going to be detours in and around the Wampum area. Uh, so um, be aware of that. And um, like, here's some of the stuff they're saying about that area. And I'm going to read this to you. All this stuff coming up like instantaneously as uh, and, and very uh, difficult, if you would, to um, kind of convey out there as there's, there's very little dress rehearsal for this. So uh, let me see if I can find the road closures that they were talking about uh, earlier. And I do want to say this. Federal investigators say the cause of the derailment was a mechanical issue with the rail car axle. The three-member train crew received an alert about the mechanical defect shortly before the derailment. Michael Graham, uh, he was a, a board member of the National Transportation Safety Board, uh, issued that Sunday as uh, when we went on Morning News Watch, uh, they were talking about it getting worse. Now, um, we're going to take a break here, and uh, we're going to uh, head Back Well, before we take that break, the controlled release at 3.30, and uh, as we are getting calls right now, I'm going to take this break, and we'll be right back. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV 45 to the number one media source locally. NCTV 45, anytime on your time. Special thanks to Butts, Flowers, Gifts, and more in downtown Newcastle for their support and funding of this program. Butts, Flowers, downtown Newcastle. If you're hungry, don't be out in the desert. Head on down to the old oasis for breakfast. If you're hungry, don't be out in the desert. Head on down to the old oasis for daily specials. Yes, appetizers, sandwiches, beverages. It's the Oasis Bar, 303 South Jefferson Street. Call 724-652-6104. Once again, controlled release happening at 3.30 today. Polyvinyl chloride. It's a hard plastic. It is burning. The National Cancer Institute warns that this could be fatal uh, if inhaled, burning you. Uh, so this is a very serious situation. Make sure that you stay tuned to all the updates 
as uh, they come about. And here at NCTV 45, we will make sure that we keep you informed. So uh, I want to thank you for tuning in. And please follow our posts as uh, we'll get that information out there to you as quick as it becomes available. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.